In today's episode, we take a look at a couple of ways to speed up your color grade in DaVinci, and we observe a couple of guys out of their element. All right, so here's our project for today. I made a quick timeline to go over a couple of these tips to speed up your color grade. All it is is a, a track and then a couple of club shots. And we have our two guys that were out of their element that night that I was filming there. All right, so let's get started. Our first thing is enabling our clips. This little square above each shot, what that'll indicate is if there's any adjustments to it. So if you add any type of lots, any type of color grade, anything of the sort, it will then have a little colored square there. So then you know that there was some type of an adjustment added to that. The next thing is once you do have, so let's go through here and add a little bit of a color grade in here. So I'm just spreading out everything. And then let's say we'll add a LUT to this. So I'll come into my LUTs and I'll add a quick LUT into here. So I have a LUT and let's say it looks all right. A little saturated, but let's say that this, you know, this looks all right. I can actually come back a little bit, let's say, um, I want to reduce the saturation for our reds, bring that down a little bit, and also our purples. We'll bring that down just a little bit. So there, now we have a better looking shot. Let's say we wanna add it to another shot, and let's say it's this shot. All you have to do is have this shot highlighted, come over to the shot that we wanna copy the grade, and middle mouse button, and it'll copy that whole node tree. No matter how in depth it is, it'll copy the whole thing for that clip. There's a couple of different adjustments here, but this is for when you're copying clip adjustments from clip to clip. We have some other adjustments in here you can see as well as a timeline. And all you have to do is just make one adjustment and you wanna add it to the whole project. What you could simply do is come into our timeline node tree and you could add all of your adjustments in and those adjustments will then get added to all of your shots in the whole timeline. I would be, you know, cautious on that, but it is an option. It is something that you can do. So we've copied node trees from one shot to the other, and we've also edited our timeline node graph. So the next thing that you can do is, let's say you had more than just two or three shots. Maybe it was 50 shots or 60 shots. Maybe we're in a um, interview situation where we have an A camera and a B camera, and it cuts back and forth, so all together, there might be you know, 200 shots, but it's only two angles and the camera settings never change. So we'd only really have to make two adjustments. What you can do in that, in that situation is you could highlight all of, by just holding control, you could highlight all of the shots that you want to be the same and you could simply right click and add into group up here, add into a new group, and then you can name the group whatever you want it, A camera, B camera, you know, whatever the situation is, name it, and now all of these are linked together. They still have the ability to be affected by your timeline node graph. They can still be indiv individually be affected by the clip node graph, but the other thing that they now have is if you come into here, they have a pre-clip node graph and they have a post clip node graph. And the idea here is just before your clip adjustments get um, set, you can have uh, the shot affected beforehand or after. Uh, so, so that's one of the things that you can also do too. So if I come into post and let's say I just add um, some saturation into here, now all of my other clips will also in their post clip will also have that adjustment. So that's something else that you can add into here. The next one is, let's say you work on a project. So similar for me, for when I do these tutorials, I have my set, it's always set up the same way, and I always have to add the same adjustments to the project. So what you can do is, let's say 
in, in, um, for this shot here, we're just gonna stay on clip here and we're going to add some adjustments in here. So I'm going to quickly just add some, some uh, contrast into our shot. And let's say we then add a, a random, we're just gonna come in here and pick a random one. Okay, we have a, a random LUT in here maybe. And let's say we also want to make sure that our blacks are actually black and they're not colored. So we'll do that, right? So let's say that this is this is the a color grade that I'm gonna use pretty often. So similar to LUTs, they have this other thing that are called power grades. And they're also, you can keep them as stills. So if you just right click, grab still, it will then throw it over here. And you can use stills for a couple of different things. But the first way I'm gonna show you is if you have, let's say this shot here and you want this same color grade, you could simply middle mouse button over this and it'll copy all of those adjustments that you used on that to build this still, okay? The other thing that you can do is you can click play still and then you can get a side by side for when you're color grading. Maybe you want two shots to look the same. You could then use this still and you could, you know, go back and forth. There's tons of different adjustments here to get it to look different ways. Um, you know, you could have one go in and out, but you, you now have the ability to do that. Additionally, you can add what's referred to as a power grade. Stills are just kept within that project. Power grades are kept for all of your projects. They're, they're held in your database and they're, they can be pulled from any, any other project. So for instance, my tutorials, here's my tutorial grades. If I wanted to, I could remove this current grade. Let's get rid of this. And if I wanted to, I could add what I currently use for um, this, this shot here. I could add that to this. Now it's gonna obviously give different results because you know this is completely different than this scene. But the idea here is that when you're working on multiple projects, if you build a color grade that you like, you could then copy it into, um, you could copy it into a power grade and save it there. And it's the same exact thing where you just copy a still. All you would do is just add a add in a power grade album, and then you could just copy this into the power grade album, and then it's there. So when you open up another project, those will always show up there. Sometimes you'll come across a situation where you wanna copy a grade from one shot to the other, and you'll have an issue where you copy the grade over and it looks terrible, right? Or maybe there's just a one aspect of that grade that you wanna copy over from one shot to the other. A cool thing that you can do is, let's say this is the shot that I wanna copy over. You grab your still by right clicking grab still, right? Now, in this shot, I want to add uh, a couple of those nodes, but I don't wanna add them all. Maybe you have like a complex node tree going and you wanna add a couple of them, but you don't wanna add that whole color grade because you already are working on. So like, let's say I was already working on a color grade over here. Uh, I, now I want to add a couple of those other nodes. So a cool thing you can do is, let's say this is the, the uh, look that you wanted to copy. You could come into displayed node graph and it'll show you all of the other nodes. And a cool thing that you can do is you can say, okay, well, I want to add this node, this node, and this node. So you come over here, you add, or maybe it's just the two nodes. Maybe it's just this node and this node and not the, uh, not the one with the LUT. So we'll come over here, this node we already have here, it's blank. You just grab this node and you can drop it in and it'll just drag and drop those. Or maybe it's just, we wanna copy just this uh, LUT here. So we can copy just the LUT. Um, I found that to be really helpful when you have a really good look and you save it and then you start working on another shot and that look doesn't work but you want a couple aspects out of it because when you when you copy a when you copy a grade it's going to copy over the whole grade so that was always a pain in the butt i just wanted to copy like one or two nodes so there's a quick way of copying just a couple of nodes or whatever the specific things are that you want 
um, from one to the other. <clears throat> so the final thing I'll leave you with is whenever you're doing tracking for like power windows, I would recommend disabling your color grade just so your computer has more resources to allocate to playing the video and also tracking the subject or whatever it is that you're tracking. Your computer doesn't have to spend extra resources to add whatever the color grade that you have on. And with that being said, there's my couple of tips on how to speed up the process when color grading. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comments area. <laughs> Again, my name's JR and thanks for watching.